This video involves the code on pages 12, 13, and 14 of Drake's data structures and algorithms in Java. One of the first things I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go ahead and update the comments. And there's a reason for that. We'd like to tell you that comments matter. Um, and by and large, they do. Now, I actually in this video do a bad job of keeping the comments up to date, but I'm going to show you part of why it matters. If I enter my comments, and I can check that I haven't somehow broken the code, BlueJ lets me look at the documentation. And what we can see here is that my comments are actually now part of the documentation for my code. Uh, the date that I put in is there as well as my name. And so this is useful as we start to deal with larger programs that our code is documented for others to look at. Now, the first thing I'm going to do follows from figure 1-9 on page 12. And what I'm doing is declaring a field. You can read up in the text on what a field is. Uh, it's how we store information in an object. So I'm declaring it as part of the class. It's called top face. And then what I'm going to do is follow on from figure 110. I'm going to say public static void main string bracket bracket args. And one thing I'm going to do that's a little different than the text is I'm always going to put my brackets, my curly braces if you prefer, so that they line up. I think that's important for being able to see how things line up in your code. So what I'm going to do is come over here and just take a look at my handiwork. If I right click, I see I can create a new die object and there are no methods that I can uh, execute. And if I go back to the class itself, I could run main. And uh, we'll come back to that. For the, you know, you worked on the command line in the past, and that is very much like running your code off of the command line. So, next steps. If we look forward to the next page in figure 112, we can say this dot top face equals 1. Now this was unintentional but I put my code in the wrong place. It says non-static variable this cannot be referenced from a static context. What I forgot to do because I wasn't paying attention was I noticed that the code is actually declaring a constructor. So what's happened here is the author has actually intended for us to write a constructor for our class and put the code there and we see that now it compiles. So that word static means something rather important. I suggest that you focus on it in your reading. Now, flipping the page, listen to this. Flipping the page to page 14, figure 112, we see where the code that I'm writing now comes from. In main, which is the code that gets executed if we were to run this from the command line, I create a new die object called d. I then print the value of its top face. I then set the top face to 6 and I print it again. And for stylistic reasons, I'm going to keep those parentheses up against the print line. Uh, nothing would break if I didn't, but that's, that's the style of the text and I think it's the style we should use. And I do want to come back to the fact that uh, right, what's going on there is we're modifying that value. So I say that I want to run main with no arguments and the code outputs a 1 and a 6, which is what we'd expect. Right, create the new die, print the value of the top face, change it, print it again. What I'm going to go ahead and now do and do is actually put the comments from the course text into the code. I realized after I created the video that I hadn't done that as I was working along, but that's really a good idea. It helps you understand what's going on. I know that it might seem like it takes extra time. It might seem tedious. But the reason that you're working through this code is to get a better understanding. And part of reinforcing that understanding is going to be writing the plain English comments that explain things in simple, sensible ways. So I'm going to do that as part of this video, even though I didn't do it in the first place. I'll take care to actually line things up. 
and then I'll be done with this code. Did I break anything? No. And I can come back here and double check everything runs. We'll invoke main with no arguments. It's like saying Java on the command line. And you see it did 1.6 again. Now I can clear this terminal by selecting clear from the options menu. If I come back here and run main again, you'll see that it prints 1 and then 6. So it keeps a history of the things that happened before. This work is made available under Creative Commons Attribution Non-Commercial Share-Alike License Version 3.